podcasting. What is it? Maybe some lonely girl reading poetry about how sad the world is. Maybe a way for like-minded individuals to come together and share common interests. Or maybe, just maybe, it's the next step in the evolution of broadcasting. Many people equate it to the old pirate radio station sitting out in international waters broadcasting without a federal license. Many people in the podcasting space agree that podcasting has existed Welcome. in some form mail. or another back in the mid-90s. Back then, this was called internet radio or audio blogging. Faster internet speeds and the desire of audio bloggers to make and share their content with a larger audience led to the development of the really simple syndication code. The RSS code enables a subscriber of an audio blog they like to know every time a new episode is made. The subscriber is notified and the episode is pushed right to their listening device. This technology caught the attention of pirate radio DJ slash former MTV VJ Adam Curry. In 2004, Several people of note started bandying around the name podcasting, including Curry. The former MTV VJ was Curry the first major celebrity to get into the podcasting bandwagon. He has a podcast called The Daily Source. Let me go ahead and subscribe to that, and uh, we can go listen to his latest one. You know, just click What's on your it. Your Daily Source code, show number one hundred and eighty. With sixteen million dollars worth of airplanes strapped to my ass. <laughs> Than the next generation radio content in my ears. We don't need no stinking transmit. I like to think I'm flying yep. into the That's future. Steve Jobs right there being very impressed with Adam Curry's daily source code. He was so impressed that he changed iTunes to have the ability for podcasters to be able to upload and to have the RSS code capability to where listeners could download everyone's favorite podcasts that were listed on iTunes. That changed everything. When Steve Jobs let people start uploading and downloading Steve podcasts from iTunes, hundreds and hundreds of podcasts started showing up almost overnight. Now, according to Nielsen in 2017, 50% of all homes are podcast fans. That's over 60 million homes. That's over 60 million fans of podcasting. That's incredible. So, What's to stop you from starting a podcast? All you need is a little bit of an idea that you think other people want to know about. A little bit of money to start up a rig, as much or as little as you want to spend. And a little bit of time to put it together. So, this is Rob Kearns sharing a little bit of history of podcasting.